welcome you all in my channel and today we will be talking about computer science grade 9 chapter number 2 which is binary system so total marks of this test is again 30 and total time you have is 16 minutes okay so in the objective portion we have four um, mcqs and definitely you have to pick one suitable correct option and cutting, overwriting, filling more bubbles is not allowed. If you will do so, then you will be getting awarded zero marks. So the first question is, the base of decimal number system is. So the, in, the, in this first chapter, the first topic was number system. And in that topic, we studied that there are three types of number system, binary, decimal, hexa. And they are asking the base of decimal number system. Option A is 16, B 10. C 8 D 2 and do remember that hexa base is 16 and 10 is the base of decimal number system so 10 is the correct option 8 is the base of octal number system and 2 is the base of binary number system right we can actually switch this answer question like this the base of octal number system is then if it's octal then it's 8 if they are asking the base of binary number system, then it's 2. And question number 2 is 1 petabyte is equal to. And we know that there are different um, there are different things. Actually, computer in memory, there are different units of data. Bit hota hai. Bit is the smallest unit, then byte, then kilobyte, then megabyte, gigabyte, terabyte, and petabyte. In the page number 43, there is a table. Please learn that table, right? So, 1 petabyte is equal to 1024 to the power 5 bytes. Okay. Sometimes if it's bytes, then it's 1024 bytes. If it's not byte, then it can be 1024 TB, terabytes. Okay. So currently they are just asking the answer in bytes. So that's why I have clicked this one. So the B is the correct option. Question number three. RAM is an example of volatile, non-volatile, semi-memory and indirect memory. So volatile first we need to be clear about what is volatile and non-volatile memory. Okay, so volatile memory is that memory or device which holds data as long as it has a power supply connected to it. Yani ki jab tak usko power supply milti rahegi, it's gonna hold your data. Right? So volatile memory ko sometimes hum primary storage bhi kehte hain and RAM is the volatile memory. And non-volatile memory which can hold data even if, even if it's not connected to any power source. Okay, so different kind of uh, PCs, devices like flash drive, hard drives, uh, all these devices are in the non-volatile memory. So the correct option is volatile. Question number four for hexadecimal A, binary value is for hexadecimal A, we have to find out the binary. So we know that for hexadecimal A equals to 10. And 10 ki agar hum binary banaye to it's going to be 10, 10 option D. Okay. Just you have to think the and you have to make the things link with your previous concepts. Okay. Then it's going to be easy for you to answer the questions. And in next in the subjective portion we have some short questions. Five short questions and each contains two marks and you have to attempt all the question first question is defined bit as i have already told you that bit is the smallest amount of data to be stored in computer's memory it's it's it can be zero or one it's called a bit a collection of eight bit is called a byte and a collection of four bits is called a neighbor at least one byte is required to store any piece of information in a computer storage memory so Bit is basically the smallest amount of data to be stored in computer's memory is it can be 0 or 1, right? Then difference between temporary and secondary storage devices. 
temporary is basically the volatile memory and the permanent or non volatile memory and in the secondary storage device right so temporary device is device which holds the data as long as it has a power supply connected to it and loses the memory when there is no power supply connected to it it's called volatile memory or temporary memory and a device which can hold data even even if it is not connected to any power source is called a non volatile memory or permanent memory or we can say secondary storage memory as well in the example of temporary storage you can mention ram in the example of secondary storage memory you can mention flash drive cds and all those things by the way in my other videos i have talked about the secondary get all the storage devices in details do check my other videos as well so the next question is convert 69610 decimal to hexadecimal it's quite easy you just have to convert it so next question number four store the word phone in computer memory starting from address 7003 where each letter need one byte to store in memory so it's very clear that first you have to write all the words in memory and then assign one location to memory starting from 703 704 705 because one byte is required to store each store each character so in this way we are giving one byte to each character next question is what is meant by proportion give an example okay so in this chapter you have learned about some um, laws of boolean algebra because it actually helping us uh, to define and or logical operators so proportion is any sentence that can either be true or false right it can be anything like you can say p equals to i play chess and q equals to i want to excel in mathematics and there can be anything it can be anything actually it can be any sentence that can be either true or false next in long question we have two questions the first question is perform the following conversion a b c d to binary it's quite easy you just have to mention um four, you have to make four pairs of binary like a equals to 10 b equals to 11 c equals to 12 d equals to 13 and just make four pairs binary we know that binary 10 key binary 1010 and for 11 1 0 double 1 for 12 1 0 0 and for 13 we have 1 1 0 1 okay now write down all the binaries in a same sequence 1 0 1 0 for b 1 0 double 1 c double 1 double 0 d 1 1 0 1 so this is the binary of our a key power a b c d right this is our answer define so the next question is define computer memory and storage devices in detail so you just have to mention what is the computer storage storage is the place where we are going to store some data then you can define um, different computer memories bit byte kilobyte megabyte you can make that table as well then you can define storage devices primary secondary volatile non-volatile and uh, then you can type different types mention the examples of those storage devices so the next question is perform the following conversion 1 5 6 10 to binary you just have to divide take lcm and then just mention the remainders draw the truth table to verify this equals to a dot base b plus a dot c it's quite easy as well if you have any confusion do let me know in the comment section box i will help you to 
um, uh, verify and draw the truth table and do the conversion and everything that's all for today in the next chapter in the next video we will be talking about chapter number three till then watch my other video for better concept concepts take care allah face